Today we're installing the lower control arms on this 2009 Jeep Patriot. So these are the control arms we're about to install. And I'll put the price on the screen. They were relatively cheap and I really am not interested in spending a lot of money on this vehicle. So I did opt to buy some from Amazon. The first thing I want to do is I want to remove this plastic skid plate. So um, I'm going to go ahead and remove that. What I was hoping to find down here is a good central location to jack up the front of this since I'm going to be doing both of these control arms, but that doesn't look like a feasible option at the moment. So I'm going to try to remove this skid plate before, um, before I try to jack it up. So on my vehicle, there's supposed to be a bolt up here that's missing. There's one here in the middle, and then there's one uh, missing here also. So out of the three in the front, I've got one holding it up. And then, let's see if I can show you over here. I found this while I was changing the oil. And if you uh, haven't seen that video and you'd like to, I've, I'll link it. But it looks like I got one bolt holding there. Looks like it's supposed to be clips at one point, and uh, whoever had worked on it either couldn't find the clips or they were lazy. So, looks like I've got one bolt here, and I think it looks the same on the other side. So, I'll be just pulling that bolt, pulling the one on the front here, and hopefully, this whole skid plate will come down. All right, so I found a place under the uh, skid plate to uh, jack up from the front and the center and you can see where I placed the jack stands so I'm gonna go ahead and let it down and get the wheels off we got the wheels off and now we need to start looking at how this lower control arm is connected you can see we've got a bolt here on the front uh, looks like it's a captive nut on the back side so we should just be able to pull this bolt out and that'll be free and then here we've got a bolt and then on the top you can see there's a nut there so we'll need to get a socket or a wrench that'll fit up here and then our other component is right here where the ball joint meets with the spindle or the knuckle however you want to call that so uh, we'll need to remove that bolt so I'm gonna go ahead and get the the sockets and then I'll reveal the sizes as I go along for the first bolt we're gonna be taking the ball joint loose and on this side it is a 15 millimeter and on the other side here it's an 18 millimeter. So I'm going to put a 15 millimeter wrench on the front side here. Somehow. And I'm going to use the impact to pull the nut off from this side. And then before I go any further, I want to go ahead and separate the lower control arm from the knuckle. And I'm trying to currently figure out the best way to do that. All right, I think we're in a pretty good spot. I'm going to go ahead and pull the other bolts out. And both of these are a 21 millimeter.
got the old one out. Looks like it's time to put the new one in. All right, so far I've had to use this jack to kind of get this up out of the way a little bit so that I can get this started back here, the control arm, um, the rearmost part of the control arm. Alright, now what I have to do is get this ball joint taken care of. We'll go ahead and let the jack down. So here we have the new control arm on the driver's side. So you can probably see uh, I did take these loose. I got the top one loose, or I took the top one out and then got this one loose so it would pivot there to get this to line up down here. So that was just a struggle I was having. Maybe you won't have it, but um, if you do run into that, that's a way to, to deal with it. So I'm going to move on to the next project on this vehicle and we'll see you on the next video. If this video was helpful, please give it a like. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below and I appreciate you watching. Thanks.